Hey guys, this is Arm Productions again, and I'm 4673, and I'm back in Autumn's Journey Part 16. If this is not the last part, things are going to get kind of embarrassing for me. Um, anyways, um, this part might be short, I don't know. And um, another thing is that I may or may not upload more videos today. I am not completely sure myself. Um, because I have to go in about 45 minutes, I have to go out and actually go into the cinema, watching a movie in the movie theater. And we're going to watch The Fault in the Stars for the second time. <laughs> if you haven't watched that, then please do that. It's best, 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 best. Anyways, I'm rambling, and I don't like rambling. I love rambling, but you don't like when I'm rambling, so let's just go on. I stood in front of the statue for a few min moments before stepping to the side uh, to allow Chris and Ron. He wrecked, looked tenderly knelt down, but one open palm on the ground as he lowered his head. His eyes remained open and he, then he got up once again. Approaching me, he took hold of my hands and laid them with them. And never laid them, his thumbs rubbing my fingers tenderly. After examining him for a few moments, he sighed and did briefly. What's wrong? Regretting that I didn't learn the transformation spell will be a while before we can do anything like this again. I smiled wryly. Well, you could always disobey your master again and get cursed a second time. I'm not going through that again. That reminds me. What exactly did you say that got you into so much trouble? He let uh, go of my hands and averted his eyes. D doesn't really matter. My opinion opinions have changed since then. What did you say once that sleeping dragons lie? Now it's made me even more curious. Nothing. Come on. Really not. Please, please. <laughs> strong arms, he embraced me closely, effectively causing me to quiet down as I felt my face press against his chest. I still have no idea how to react with that. Still have no idea how to react when I do this, huh? I slowly wrap my arms around him and the envelope that is long. Really, Antilles. Hmm. I shyly glance up. Uh, with a whim of courage, stood up on my tiptoes and delivered a kiss to his neck. He glanced down at me in surprise, then smiled warmly before touching his forehead to mine. Thanks again for everything, Aura. We remained there for a few moments before Kerbit Rickland took the hair that words. Stepped back and turned to the altar. He stepped back, lingering close to the cave. Crew knelt down and fixed my position. You need to move back. Oh, right. I shuffled back a few paces. Father? Here? No, father. Now you're just messing with me. Have you ever seen an earth dragon before? Just you when you're heaven kind sized. Which is not an accurate representation of life you see, lover. I was practically hiking the cave. Uh, at a corner, expecting a flash ash over my eyes, uh, and slightly avid them. I could hear some mumbling, but I was too far away to comprehend it. As I predicted, Kerr was engulfed in a bright light, um, which expanded and took shape before materializing it into his true form. Uh, unlike the leaf and serpent like water, Dragon, the earth dragon was bulky with powerful limbs filled with wings and overlapping armor that ran down from its neck into the end of its tail. It had brought light, just his flowers with elbows and knees. I gasped and cautiously took a step forward. The ears of, of the earthy tones reminded me of Kerr, but I don't underestimate how fearsome he would appear in his true body. Kerr? He took a deep step, his large weight causing the cave to tremble. I immediately grasped the wall, not wanting to pitifully kneel down in fear. His large eyes widened with his next step was more cautious, like a cat ready, getting ready to pounce. I know, I know. Tremors aside, I could really take you in a fair, f fair fight. A proud snort was heard and his head loomed over me before lowering. I'd like to see you try. His voice was deeper with a natural growl to it, but it was definitely curved. Kerr nudged me with his snout and then took an unstable step back. Easy there, sadly I can't grab on the grasp. We can't grab on the glass grass playfully anymore. Come on, Mary's waiting. Once we strolled outside, Mary was waiting patiently and quickly approached me before I and Kerr. 
It's a CG to him. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. All ready to go? I must do the small spot. Yeah, I'll see you two off soon. It'll be a nice walk until we reach the river. Curry, why don't you give us a ride? Curry flabbered his wings or something. Or are you teasing? Your teasing is rubbing off on him. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. Can you fly me at least, please? He folded his wings and grumbled, ex expanding at claws into the dirt. Unless there's a mountain top I can glide off, my wings are pretty much useless. I gave Kerr a blank stare as I slowly registered the news and couldn't hide my disappointment. Aww. What do you expect from an earth dragon? Uh, that's expecting I get married to walk on land. Hey! At least I can move around in this form. You, on the other hand, I started laughing at the first. At first it was simply a giggle, but soon it grew into a full, full chuckle. I don't think it was purely from their antics, since I realized that my eyes were moist and I blinked it away. I'm really going to miss this. I wanted to ask for them to stay, question where they really had to, where, whether they really had to go back, but I knew it was hard for them too. When we reached the river and married to a few red gloved tents stepped forward before he twirled around and hugged me close. Thank you for everything, Aurelie. I promise we'll see you again. I'll help train Kerr so he can transform on his own as well. Is it a difficult spell? O'Mary's light loud sigh explained everything in here I'd care verbally. He dropped our arms and pulled it up from our embrace. It'll take time. For now, we have to explain the full situation to our masters, which will most definitely strain the relationship between dragonkind and heavenkind. Kerr hissed, hissed and fluttered his wing. What a hassle. But it's, it's something they should be made aware of before the situation potentially gets worse. Or else there'll be, there'll be real tensions to worry about. Oh, that makes sense. I jab my chest with a thumb. I'll be busy providing services to traveling merchants passing through Berry for now. I'll make sure all shipments are going in and out verified. Not as glamorous as knighthood, but I think it's important. Now, now get going, we're obviously stalling. I backed away giving Elmeri some room. Before the mist had lo even looked, blah, 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 a large shape stretched before me, following by a splash. When the fog had erupted, and Mary's neck and head were still visible from above the water. A thought occurred to me as I motioned to Kerr to lower his ears. Kerr, do me a favor. I reached up and patted his muscle. Give Bill Mary his speech back. His nostrils flared, but he made a small jerking motion with his head that resembled a nod. Good. If you do, I promise to visit you both, somehow. Like a puppy demanding attention, Elmeri nudged my shoulder with his snout until I turned and patted it as well. Play nice, you two. You'll be fine. Take care, really. Satisfied, Elmeri retreated into the river while Kerr began walking upstream. I was surprised Kerr didn't vocalize goodbye. However, he glanced back momentarily, and I smiled to myself. He didn't handle partings that well. Take care, care, he'll marry. I thought the urge to run along with them and instead waved at them feebly until they disappeared from sight. Knowing that I would break down mm. sobbing if I continued to stand there, I returned to the cave. I smiled wistfully and picked up the glass on a mantle and the crude walking stick. Once that I had arranged them in front of the dragon statue, I made a prayer to the altar. Not sure if this communication works between anyone, not just between heaven kind dragon kind. Should have asked how silly of me, but um, please take care of those two for me. They're both important to me, and it'll be lonely without them. I have a feeling they'll be preoccupied with a lot of things before we can see each other again. Satisfied with the conclusion, I slanted outside with Mary's gift in my back and Chris walking stick in my hand. The vivid redness of autumn had died, replaced by bare trees and no noticeable nip of in the air. The heaviness I had felt in my heart disappeared, replaced instead by a strong something. I knew I would see Colonel Mary again, but for now, I have to finish my patrol first. Never thought I'd actually miss them. No! They have to see each other again! That's not fair. That's really not fair. That is extremely unfair. I'm sorry, but I'm 
feeling so depressed now, you can't even imagine. You are... Uh, oh uh, no. Ah, uh, no. You can't do that to me. You cannot. I'm sorry, but that was a fucking hard blow. There has to be something after this. There has to be. There wasn't anything else. Come on, you can't end it this open. You have to know if they end up seeing each other again. You can't do this. Autumn's journey. Um, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot for um, following this series. I thought it was pretty damn decent. The art is beautiful. It was a bit hard to read sometimes, but that's not supposed to be a bad thing at all. Um, I was a bit skeptical. It's very hard to make friendships in games. And this was mostly about friendship and not much about love. Um, it's easier to make to to make love, no manner. To create a <laughs> love <laughs> between two characters, um, I think, than it is to create actual or uh, actual real stable friendship relationship. Um, but they handle it very well, though it was a bit sudden, they need a bit more build-up for those people to become friends, I think. But maybe, yeah, that's just me. It was good. It was a good game. Um, beautiful art. Pretty cool concept. Ending was too open, if I'd say. Thank you, people, that was awesome during it. Um, Next, I will, I don't know when, but I will upload a couple of, maybe one or two My Candy Love, and then I will go to the game you voted for, so if you haven't voted yet, you have to hurry a lot. Right now, I think the game, two games that it's swayed, it's swaying between Eugene Bell, the Bodyguards, and Winter and Fabric. So if you don't want any of those games, or if you want another game, you kind of have to vote now. Thanks. I'll see you. Goodbye.